Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> this is Raj Handel from uh, Venice Hybrid Tech. I'm the owner of this company. And uh, today I'm talking to you about how to, how to charge and discharge the Honda hybrid battery packs. I mean the Honda Insight and Honda Civic. Both of them are quite similar and the procedure that I discuss here and which I show you is applicable to both the packs. So as you know, Honda uses a different kind of uh, sticks as compared to Toyota. They have um, sticks like this, which are made of six cells, six D cells, which have been welded together, and then they have these endpoints connectors, and uh, so this is how they make one stick, and there are a total of 20 sticks in the pack. So each stick is, uh, each uh, D cell is about 1.2. So the stick is nominal uh, voltage is 7.2 and then 20 sticks make it 144 volts. So <clears throat> in, the, uh, in, the, in the Honda, uh, in the Honda Civic uh, generation two, they use a little bit different sticks uh, which are uh, like this, they, they have two sticks put together and they have pairs of sticks and they have a total of 11 pairs in the Honda uh, Civic Generation 2. But basically they are all D cells and the technique of charging and discharging is the same. So you can use the same technique. So what happens is that all these sticks uh, or all these battery packs once they're used over a period of time, say about eight to 10 years, they lose their capacity and they also get unbalanced. So idea of recycling or what it involves in the recycling is, you are going to charge and then wait and then discharge and then wait and then charge. So like this, this is one cycle charge and discharge is one cycle and you going to do this uh, charging and discharging about six to eight times to with a view to regain the capacity and balance them so by doing this procedure you can regain quite a bit of capacity and they get balanced and the car is happy and your all the lights will go away and your eye may well be fine and uh, your car will start um, will show charge and uh, assist properly. And there's also another thing that's called a memory effect about which I will talk later. So today I'm doing this on a Honda Insight 2001 and I'm um, um, doing this uh, recycling and uh, I'm going to show you practically how I make the connections and uh, how to charge this battery pack. So before we proceed with the actual demonstration, I wanted to uh, tell you about the preparation. So you have to take the battery pack out of the car onto a workbench uh, you have to remove the junction board. So this is a junction board for Honda Insight 2001-2002 uh, up to 2006. And you have to remove the, the cover of the, at the back. There are six screws, you have to open this. So you have to remove both these things And also you need a wire like this 
with the ring terminals on two ends to make the connections for the fuse which uh, you have removed because you removed the junction board. So now I'm going to show you the connections. So <clears throat> here's the battery pack and as you can see I have my shop light connected to terminal number one here number one and on number 10. So I'm going to discharge this battery pack in two halves, the 10 modules at a time. And as you can see here, I've got the, the wire connected between terminal number eight and number nine. This is where the fuse works. And since we removed the junction board, this these two terminals are open and you need a wire to connect them to make the whole uh, circuit in line, in, in series. So you have to connect the wire here, put the positive on number one, negative on number 10, and you see the shop light, and then you can start discharging this battery pack. Uh, and then similarly after that you're going to move these terminals number 10 no, uh, the number one the positive will go to number 11 and the negative negative will go to number 20 and then you will discharge the other half and uh, after you discharge the whole battery pack you're going to let it sit for about half an hour and then uh, you're going to charge it with my either my high speed charger or a grid charger so i have my high speed charger here and i have the connectors and i'm going to connect them the i'm going to connect them on number one and number 20 and I'm going to charge the whole pack in one go. And uh, that is how you will charge and discharge the hybrid battery pack of any Honda uh, Civic or inside. So I showed you the connections of how to charge and how to discharge the battery pack. Uh, let's talk about a few uh, things about the whole procedure. Now, what I do is, first of all, whenever I want to recondition any battery pack, the first thing I do is to charge the battery pack fully. Like in this case, Honda Inside, I will take it to about 170 to 175, if it is possible. Some of the packs are weak, they may not go up to there. They may go up to 165, 167, 168, whatever the voltage be. You charge it up fully and let it sit for about half an hour. Okay, after that, I want you to take out all the 20 sticks and check them. Why? Because what happens is when you see uh, these sticks, they are, which are made of six uh, D cells, as I told you earlier, it is possible that one or two of those uh, cells are defective or they are not capable of taking a charge. They are dead, as we call them. So if you just keep cycling them, you are not going to achieve anything and you're going to waste your time. So the best thing to do is charge the battery pack, let it sit for half an hour, and then take out all the 20 sticks and check them. And for checking, I'm going to show you now how to do, how to check them and what I mean by that. So here's a uh, Honda Insight or Honda Civic stick. And I take a screwdriver and I'm going to 
mark or rather uh, scrape each cell at the juncture. I'm going to make a little cutting or a scrape the heat shrink which has been put on these uh, cells. I'm going to, as you can see in the in the video, I have already marked them here, 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 and here. So I'm going to mark these uh, with the screwdriver, score them or scratch them with a view that I can see the metal because I want to check the voltage of each cell and it is very important that you mark them at the points where the cells are, uh, are joined together. So at the juncture of first cell and the second cell, you see this little bit of a strip and you're going to mark it on top of that. If you mark anywhere else, you may not get the right reading. So it's very important to mark it at the correct point. You can see uh, in, the, in this video, I'm showing you clearly where to mark them. So you mark these five points and then you're going to follow the procedure of checking each and every cell with a voltmeter. You're going to touch the voltmeter here and, and uh, on this point here and you'll get a voltage reading. Similarly, from here to here, and then from here to here, and like that, all the six cells. And you're going to do this for all the 20 sticks. Now, the idea is, you are checking to see the voltages of all these six cells, whether they are kind of similar or there are too much deviation what you'll find is they may vary from 1.2 to 1.3 in between, but some of the cells may be like 0.7 or 0.8 or 0.85 or 0.9, but they'll be way down than the rest of the five or four cells. So those one or two cells are dead. So you don't want to use those sticks because you'll be wasting your time those cells are not going to catch any voltage or they're not going to catch any capacity. They're going to remain dead. So don't waste your time. Check them right in the beginning. Once you check all the 20 sticks, you remove the bad ones, replace them with the good ones. And again, for the good ones, again, you must check them before you know whether they are okay or not. You, If there are some sticks you got to replace them. You charge them, check them the way I told you, and if you find that they are okay, then you replace the bad ones, bad ones with that. And now, once you have the 20 sticks or 20 or 11 pairs for um, Civic Gen 2, now you are ready to start the procedure of uh, recycling, like I explained to you. And then you have to recycle them six to eight times. The more you do, the more capacity they will regain and the more your battery will last. And another clue I'll give you now is that when you are charging and discharging, you'll see in the discharge procedure the each half journey takes about 45 minutes in the beginning. But as you progress, you'll see that they are taking more time. It will go up to one hour for each half. Then you know that yes, your sticks are good. So the idea is after you charge the battery pack and before you start discharging, they should be around, the battery pack should be around 170, 175. So that means 80, 82 volts per half. And you're going to discharge it to about 65 volts 
or 60 volts, depending, it's not anything fixed, depending how much charge it was, you're going to go down by about 17 to 20 volts for each half. Once you discharge it, then again, wait for half an hour and then charge it back to 80. I mean, now you're charging the whole pack together, so you're going to go up to 170, 175. And I, I suggest that you keep a track, you keep a note of all the readings, how much uh, when you're charging it, um, how much capacity they have regained. And uh, the best, for me, the best indicator is the shop light, which tells me how much time it takes to discharge them. If they're progressively going up, that means you're doing the right procedure and you're on the right path. Um, and you do this six, eight times and uh, your battery pack will be good to go. And then I suggest after completing the whole procedure, let it sit for about 24 hours and you check how much voltage has dropped in that time. It should not drop more than two to three volts. If it drops more, you may have to do more re uh, recycling. So once you've done this procedure, now you're ready to put the battery pack together and put it back in the car and your car should run fine.